Hey guys, and welcome to another Minecraft episode. I am Chris, as always, and uh, yeah, we're just doing some caving. So as I mentioned before, <laughs> we need some uh, uh, iron, really. Um, I already have 49 on me, which is enough for um, all the armor we need, and uh, that'll probably last us for a little bit. Oh, it's a black skeleton over there. Um, and I was, I found this ravine here, and it's at the perfect level, I believe. Um, why 14? Yeah, it's at a pretty good level for diamonds, and, uh, uh, I think we found this last time. Uh, I'm not sure. But, uh, when we went down, straight down in that, uh, um, from the top there, we went straight down. Uh, when I started going back up and down the ladders, I heard some noises, and, uh, as soon as I started digging towards the noises, I found this, uh, ravine here. Um, along with the cave. So I went through the cave, got some iron, and decided to come back here for some uh, diamonds, hopefully. Uh, this is a bad idea. Alright. Uh, nothing so far, but it looks very promising. Oh no, that's that's not good. <laughs> Where's the... Oh! There we go. There's some diamonds. Oh, we don't have a water bucket. No, we don't have a water bucket yet. So, how are we going to do this? Oh, this is going to be risky. <laughs> Let's see here. And our pick's about to die. Ugh. How much iron do I have? One, but I can smelt more, I guess. Yeah, we can get smelt more if we need to. Oh. Well. I was, uh. I was expecting more than that. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, I guess one diamond. <laughs> I was about to say, I guess one diamond's better than none, but, uh. Yeah, th I'll, I'll take this too. Oh, this is a lot too. Look at this. Diamonds for days. Look at that. How many do we have so far? Nine. That is more than enough than what we. <laughs> I was about to say that's more than enough than what we need, but uh, I will take all the diamonds I can get. Man, this is a fantastic first run. Thirteen diamonds. Uh, was that more over there? No, it's a torch. <laughs> I'm not that lucky. <laughs> now, did you find? I guess three things of ores. Only well, one was only one. But this is a perfect cave. Why are all the zombies? Must be a uh, spawner nearby. That'd be nice. Well, let's go ahead and make a diamond pick. I yeah, let's go ahead and make a diamond pick because we will need a diamond pick anyways. And uh, we'll go ahead and grab some obsidian and maybe we can make a enchanting table today. Look at all that bench marking. This isn't my first time making a working or uh crafting table is it? Uh, I don't think so. Let's try mining up and see cuz it'd be really nice if there was a spawner. Though I doubt there is. That is a lot of zombies though. Let's see here. Oh, I'll listen to all that. All right, that's not a spawner. I'll be very surprised. happen to be three zombies in a little room. I don't see a spotter. Right, we seriously need armor. Like we are about Oh wow, a spider jockey. No, not anymore. Let's see here. Yeah, come over here. Well, I guess it's not a not a spawner. New part of the cave though I haven't been to. Oh. Gotta be careful. We will come back here because that looks like a good part. Well, I don't know. It's not that high. Hmm. See here. Where were we going last time? Is this way? I would probably be doing most of my uh, recording off camera, but uh, since or not recording, um, my mining. I'll probably be doing most of my mining off camera, but since uh, this is like, you know, us gearing up for the first time, I figured I oh, don't get burnt. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I figured I'd record this part. Um, just us getting the first uh, little bit of materials here. Uh, let's see here. And uh, like I said, I did go through a cave before this, but uh, it wasn't really anything that uh, special. Keep in mind, we're doing this whole thing without armor right now, <laughs> uh, which probably isn't the smartest thing to do, especially since we have the uh, capabilities to um, make full iron armor, and then some, but, uh, uh, ah, he caught me on fire, but I see diamonds. I've been here with through, I've been here, oh, speak right, I've been here before. Did I not see those diamonds, where did they go? Wait a second. What's this way? Some iron. I don't have to come through here and just clear this whole place out, but. Oh no, did I just lose diamonds? I think it's this way. Oh, that's probably why I didn't see it. Let's see how many are here. Two, three, and a nice one there. Alright, cool. That makes our diamond count to 15 on the second episode. That's, that's amazing. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was uh I was going to settle with five because that's what we need for a um, crafting table and a uh, not a crafting table a uh, enchanting table is five diamonds one or two for the uh, two for the table and um, three for a pick to mine the obsidian. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go through here and take out some of this obsidian. <laughs> Wait, fifteen diamonds plus three. We found eighteen diamonds. Wow. Um, and here I was disappointed with that little one over there. Uh, wow. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and mine up some obsidian. And we'll probably meet back up after I've gone through this cave and gotten some more materials. And we can start smelting some of this stuff. Yeah. Alright guys, we are making our way out of uh, the cave system. Uh, I'll show you how I, where I found this place. Uh, like I said, I was just climbing up the ladder from the bottom and found the cave right there. Uh, which is right next to a uh, ravine. Which So that was... Uh, nice surprise and uh we might be uh i don't know i don't know if we'll build down there but i'll definitely be going back down there for uh, more supplies uh when when we run out uh that's very fantastic first run uh considering we got 18 diamonds <laughs> and uh so yeah i picked up 14 obsidian um took a probably about 10 minutes to get it all I mean not that much time but it took a while to get it as you could understand obsidian takes a long time when you don't have a uh and uh efficiency pick but um yeah i picked up 14 obsidian which is enough for our uh, uh by the way i don't think i showed this but i made this chest and i've been keeping some uh supplies in here um so i've been dumping everything really but uh yeah so let's go ahead and make sure we can uh, let's go ahead and melt all this stuff uh yeah we have enough coal cool um how many can we make with that three will do because we already have one uh, why am I getting all the achievements again? I know I've uh, gotten those before. <laughs> uh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> I don't really care about getting all the achievements. That's not what I'm trying to do here. But, uh, yeah, so I got 14 I'm sitting enough for a uh, nether portal and the, uh, um, Nether portal and the enchant table. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, well, it's kind of a waste to do that, but I guess we'll just go ahead and waste one coal. Um, let's see here. We need coal here and coal here. Yeah, I guess that works. Um, started a small tree farm. Uh, not really tree farm. I just kind of planted some saplings. Um, I had a birch sapling, which I uh, it grew and I chopped down the tree. That's why I had a little bit of birch wood in there. But um. I didn't get any saplings back from it, or if I did, I didn't see them, or they despawned before I could get them. Um, but that's fine. We'll, uh, I know where a forest is over there. Um, so, we can always get more birch if we need it. Um, but in this episode, we are going to start building our base. And uh, I have a lot of plans, and uh, it should be pretty cool, pretty productive uh, episode, uh, as it were. But um, I want to get main section of our base started uh, right down here um, thinking of like a dome kind of thing with some uh, 
different levels of circles and stuff and it might be kind of hard for me to explain right now and it'd be better if I could just show you uh, what I'm going to do but uh yeah so I'm going to come back uh, I've already started digging uh, a little bit down here uh, um, where I think we're going to have what I mentioned before like a vault door I think we're going to do a little vault door here just like a 3 by uh, 3 by 3 vault kind of like piston door contraption that we'll be making later on since we don't have the materials to make right now um, but that'll be the entrance to our base and uh, we'll start from there what we mainly need is uh, to start our base and then we need really really we really need to start a uh, farm because we are running off a little bit of steak right now uh, we need to start a uh, a farm and we need to create a storage room because uh, I know from experience that if we don't have a storage room uh, we'll end up having chests everywhere with a whole bunch of uh, clutter. So I have some ideas for the storage room, uh, some automatic um, hopper contraptions that I've thought of, and uh, some manual um, chests. So hope that all makes sense. Uh, I'll be coming back once I've cleared out some land and probably armored up with uh, some iron. So yeah, I'll be right back. And I'll take you. And you. And you. Hey guys, I was just exploring the uh, plains biome that we're in. This is the same plains biome. And actually, I didn't see these pumpkins up here. Uh, let me go ahead and grab this because we're going to need these. Um, but I was just killing some animals because we are running out of food and still don't have a farm <laughs> yet. But um, that's more than enough pumpkins. But uh, I ran into this desert, and uh, the reason I was exploring the plains biome is because. Uh, we have 22 levels, and it'd be nice if we could uh, enchant. Um, but before we enchant, um, actually, you know, I was looking for a village. That's what I was getting to. Um, I was looking for a village, and uh, um, I was going through the plains, but I'm looking for one uh, so we could get bookshelves um, because bookshelves are there along with some food, which would be nice. So. Uh, I was going to try my luck trying to find a village, and I haven't seemed to find one, actually. <laughs> um, but uh, we're into this desert, so I guess we can go ahead and grab some cactus, and we'll go ahead and take these just in case we don't find a village. Uh, we can still make our books ourselves. Make the books ourselves with reeds. Uh, let's grab some cactus. We can make a cactus farm. Um, let's see here. Uh I'll probably s write down the coordinates of this desert because I don't remember. Oh, look, there's a there's a village. Um, I don't remember exactly how to get here, but uh, um, this would be good for when we need glass because there's a lot of sand here. Um, but this is nice. Um, do we have potatoes? That's really what I want. A lot of potatoes would be nice. There we go. Here's some potatoes. And there we go. Alright, so what we need is houses that have bookshelves. That's really what I want to find. And we have our axe. So, uh, what houses have the bookshelves? These houses, I think. Right? Yep. We're looking for these kind of houses. And I think we need two of these houses so that we can get a full enchanting table. Um, but we should be able to survive with just one. We just have to make more bookshelves. If there's not another one around, and I think that one is actually over there, which would be nice because then we wouldn't have to make any books. Yep, here we go. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna grab some food, uh, finish getting these books, and uh, we'll return once I've got some more work done at our base. All right, guys, welcome back. We are at the uh, um, back at our base. Um, uh, those pumpkins are temporary, by the way. I just didn't have much room left in the chest, so I, uh, I put them there. Uh, this is our total findings from the village. I ended up getting 43 carrots, 17 potatoes, and some wheat. 39 wheat, actually, so that's nice. Um, but now we need to make our bookshelves, because I would like... We're going to need a lot of wood for this, aren't we? I would like to... Maybe this is enough. Oh, yeah, it's, that's more than enough. All right. I Actually, it's 14 enough. I don't think I've... I need 14. 14 is what I need. So let's make some more books. 
and we're gonna need some more books anyways for the enchant table. Anyways, so I went and uh, killed more animals on the way back, um, took the rest of the smelting things out of here, and uh, went down and mined some more iron, and ended up getting 31 levels, which is what we need to enchant this pick. So uh, what I'm wanting from uh, is a efficiency pick, a good working pick, or a uh, um, a fortune pick, which would be nice. So. Uh, what we need to do is grab our diamonds. Um, we had I already had the obsidian on us. All right, we need to make some more paper. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got more books. Place that there. All right, and this is our final bookshelf. Now you need 15 for a full enchanting, but uh, what I want is a level 28 enchantment because on a Diamond pick level 28 gives you the uh, um, some of the best enchantments in my opinion. Like uh, Silk Touch uh, is easier to get at level 28. So um, Silk Touch would be nice. It's really rare, but um, really right now I'm looking for. Uh, hey, where do we want to put this? Here, there's a flat area right there. Uh, again, we were gonna move this later. Um, so it's kind of a waste of wood, um, and the uh, the fact that we're gonna have to move this anyways, but. Uh, this should serve its purpose for a little bit. And let's go ahead and bring it around like this. Like that. And the last one would go right here, which will probably uh probably make the last one at some point. So just so we can get level thirty enchantments on our bows and stuff. Uh let's go ahead and put this in here and level twenty eight on a pick. What are we gonna get? Mm, dunno. Hopefully this is better than uh, last time we enchanted a pick. Are you ready? Mm. Ooh. There we go. Efficiency form breed. Perfect. That is exactly what I need for this, for what I'm about to do. Because uh, I have a lot of land to clear down there. And uh, this pick will help loads. Alright, cool. So, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go down and start mining, and uh, I will come back once we've got some more uh, more done. Alright, well, I decided to do a time lapse, so uh, I decided I would uh, talk a little bit during this uh, time lapse, because I don't know how interesting it's going to be, um, which brings me to one point. Uh, you guys should... Uh, comment um saying um whether you like the time lapse I'm doing or whether you don't like me uh showing all this or whatever I mean um say you don't like me mining I don't know um which like I said I'm not gonna be doing most of my mining on camera but uh yeah I, I like a lot of feedback uh, I enjoy reading comments um and uh so yeah uh, also, um, as I mentioned in the first video, we are reaching 100 subscribers soon. We're about halfway there. Last time I checked, uh, I was at 55 subscribers. So uh, make sure you make your subscriptions public. I mentioned this in the first video, so I would go see that video if you want to hear more about what I'm doing uh, for the 100 subscriber special. But uh, yeah, make your subscriptions public, um, which means I will be able to see who subscribed to me. I'll be able to read your name, and I will put you into the 100 subscriber special so uh, yeah if you're the first uh, if you're in the uh, first 100 you will have a special place on the uh, the world which will be cool because uh, if we grow uh, a lot and uh, um, we're at episode 200 or whatever you can say you were there uh, one of the first 100 subscribers I also would like to mention that I am new at this and uh, still trying to get my schedule worked out and uh, when I'm going to upload what videos and uh, so yeah s bear with me uh, give me a lot of feedback It'd be nice <laughs> and uh, yeah it should be pretty good um, I'm very very excited for how far the channel's gotten so far and uh, yeah uh, hopefully we'll grow a lot in the future so that's all I have to say uh, um, I have another time lapse right after this that I uh, 
uh, set up so I will uh, play some nice little music during that because I have said what I want to say and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed give me a lot of feedback alright guys uh, I've got this little part cleared out I uh, decided to do a little time lapse for you guys um, and uh, I'll put some commentary over that so I can talk about some things because I uh, uh, want to get a lot of work done a little bit of a time and uh, talking would just kind of slow things down in the uh, progress of this build but um yeah so I've created a little like uh, semicircle thing where it kinda um, it's like a circle pattern only it stops right here um, and uh, cuts straight across the next step is to uh, what we're gonna do is probably come out four maybe one two three four which will give Three is a walkway, maybe one more, five. So that gives three. Hmm. I have to think this out a little bit more. Uh, that looks. Maybe one more. Maybe like here. Yeah. We're going to create another, um, another circle going around this way. In the inner circle. Uh, that'll dip down even further and I'm thinking maybe a little pond at the bottom would be nice uh, with this flat wall I have uh, a idea that might work if not we can always uh, make this a full circle or do a little thing uh, I don't really know we'll, we'll figure it out <laughs> anyway I just want to do a little checkup video uh, or checkup um, on what we're doing uh, I ran into this uh, our little path down so I just kind of closed off at top um, if you saw I actually fell down uh, while I was walking up there. Anyway, so I'm going to smelt some more cobble and uh, I'll uh, start digging out this uh, center part here. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, we've got this second part uh, dug out now, uh, added water and a little path out of uh, stone bricks, uh, not sure if we'll keep, not stone bricks, uh, stone slabs, not sure if we're going to keep it stone slabs, but uh, um, still, um, that's basically what I was thinking um, when I started building this was that I'd put something right here and maybe we'll put a waterfall. Actually, let's go ahead and see what a waterfall would look like. That'd be easy to, uh, to go ahead and put up. Uh, let's see here. Where's the center? And get up here. And can we just... Oh, it's going to take out the torch. Well, let's see what that looks like. Uh, it's, it's against the wall, and if we were to put a waterfall there, we'd, uh, we'd probably offset it towards us a little bit off the wall, that is. Um, though we could make it come like uh, make it look like it's coming out of the wall, um, that could look cool. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I have this episode. Um, second episode, we've gotten a lot of done so far, um, so I'm pretty happy with the uh, progress we've made. Uh, we got loads of diamonds. We uh, um, we we got loads of uh, materials. We uh, we found a village. Um, 
started digging out all this and uh our pick is only halfway uh halfway through which I'm surprised I thought we were going to go through a uh, couple picks through this but if we hadn't gotten that diamond pick uh I don't know if we would gotten this far but uh yeah I'm going to go pick the uh the comment out uh from some of the past episodes and this is off isn't it wait one two three one two three no that's not off it's just off I don't know, I'm pretty sure this is off somehow, but I'm going to go through and figure this out next time. Next episode, we're going to uh, uh, make this look a lot nicer. Uh, we got the basic shape cut out, and now we have to go through and uh, add walls and stuff and get our design in. So yeah, I'm going to go pick out the comment, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I've uh, looked at the past videos and grabbed a comment. Uh, this comment was posted on the previous episode, episode 1, and it is by Mr. Kane wrote, uh, Kane said, I love your video, please keep making videos, I really hope you get a lot of subscribers. Well, I hope I get a lot of subscribers too, but uh, thanks for that comment, um, I really do appreciate the uh, comments I get, um, so yeah, also someone asked, oh, let me look it up real quick, um, Kristen Vega asked uh, what to use to record. Uh, I actually use Fraps. Uh, I have used DX Story, and that is also a, a good recording software. But uh, currently, I'm using Fraps. So, hope that answers your questions. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Cue the outro.